All right, I'm on hole number 14 of the 2019 Spring Major. I have uh, shot an absolutely clean round. I am what I would consider two shots down. I I only shot a 13 on the front. The perfect square we're looking for is a 12, but I'm trying to shoot a 14. I'm I'm 100% confident. While I don't know what the people are doing at the top, I'm 100% confident it's going to take a 28 to get to the top. So. I need to pick up some shots here, and this is one of those holes I can give myself a shot at. Now, it's no guarantee, but I can at least get myself in the Hornet range. So I'm going to take an extra mile on a Kingmaker. And we're going to do a max overpower hook shot. And I'm going to set this up. My blue ring at rest right on the transition between the fairway and the fringe. I'm going to take the wind out. If I miss up close, I've got a uh, Spitfire to get me out of the sand. I can do a bounce over off the island. If I hit long and end up in the rough, I can take care of that. It's if I get behind the trees, directly behind the trees is when I'm in trouble. Okay, I'm going to balance this out. Okay, I'm going to go up to my red line. I want to be right on that transition. 3-9 wind. So it's that's about a two ring pull. I'm gonna do a max overpower hook. And I got almost all of it. It was on its way down. That should clear me here, but it might catch me up on this second one right through this gap. Yep. There's a fine line down there between getting through and not getting through. If you come in a little bit too much, you'll clip the rough right here and you'll end up in the sand. If you come go to the left too far, you'll end up doing what I'm doing. And we're down to the point where it's like we're in the half of a ring deal, where it's like a small adjustment one way or the other can make a big difference. But I should be able to easily get on from down here through the in the rough. I'm past the trees. Okay, I'm shooting with my Nirvana. There's Max Club. So I'm in about mid club. About the four per ring area. So we're going to go a ring. I don't think I'm quite at mid. Hitting it perfect. Give myself a look at it. I don't know that you can get any closer. Oh my gosh. If you've watched my round, I've literally been that close three times. And I've had a couple like really close ones that were by where the bounce, if it would have been that close just over the cup, it would have bounced in the hole on a bounce going by. I've had several, probably five altogether, but three that ended up like that close. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. I really think, you know, if you're doing a layup shot up here, you have a long iron. If you're doing the layup shot on the other side, it's with the wood, that anywhere I can get down here, even if I'm in my my sandwich, it, it all boils down to, if, you, if you're making good wind adjustments, it all boils down to perfect. And you at least give yourself a shot at it. There's no guarantee it'll go in, but you know, having a look like that every time, just a little bit of luck here and there, and you get some of those to drop, and you can pick up that one or two that you need to pick up on every side. That was close. Oh, that was that was a heartbreaker. I haven't dropped anything, but I've had several of those that were, you know, like that shot right there could have put me in. That's a 27. 
Still going in with a few more holes to try and pick up that last that last one to get to 28. You know, any one of those, if I'd have picked it up, that's a that's a potential getting me towards a win. Oh, and I'm running out of holes. I will forfeit. Somebody on Golf Clash the Continental was complaining that too many people are forfeiting during tournaments. It's like, uh, I forfeit during the tournament, but I hardly ever get anybody that forfeits for me. Spreading the wealth. All right, that was hole number 14 of the 2019 Spring Major in the weekend round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.